we about to get busy because it's been raining it's been hot now it's supposed to be in the 70s today so i'm going to try to knock out this grass this grass has gone haywire so let me get busy and i will give you a little look of what i'm doing over on this side of the garden because i'm gonna try to cut this clean this side up because when you have a big garden like i have you got to do it in chunks you can't try to do this whole garden in one time because you will wear yourself out and you don't want to do that you just have to take little bit by little bit and you'll get it together all right guys so let me get started i'm going to do this whole area here cut and i think i have some harvesting i need to do because i know for sure that i need to come over here and get these shishito peppers because look these peppers over here are ready to be harvested so i gotta get that watered over here too because i see a lot of my like that decon squash is kind of wilting my butternut squash got his head down so whoo ciao we got to do some watering, but let's get busy and get this grass cut. All right, guys, let me get this taken care of, and I'll come back and we'll check out what I did. Check this out. As I was um, mowing over in this area, look, I got some baby watermelons down here. I almost ran over them with the, water, with the lawnmower. So you got that one. I got this one. And I have a few here so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let these lay on the ground there and then i have a few i got two more over here let me show you can you guys see that one and then i got another one i'm behind that leaf so i think what i'm gonna do is just i'm gonna weed whack around here and then i'm gonna try i'm gonna put that vine up on the tomato cage so I don't whack it and then when I'm done I'm just gonna lay it on the ground and we're gonna see how those three do because those are sugar baby um, watermelons too I don't know how far they'll get but I also have one here you see this one this one is growing nicely this is the um, container that I um, harvested the one good sugar baby watermelon so we're gonna see if i can get this one to turn so keep your fingers crossed on that for your girl because i'm a trying all right guys so now what i have to do is i have to weed whack all around here because child these weeds are just out of control but at least the grass looks really really good now so let me get my weed whacker as you can see over there and let me get this job done. All right, here we go. Guys, you remember our mystery plant that we found out that it was a cucumber from this plant right here? Well, child, when I was over here weed whacking, moving stuff around, you guys are not going to believe this. So I said, I better put this on film so I can have it for future references and you guys would believe me if you saw it. Are you ready? You sure you're ready? And this is off our mystery plant. Let's come around. I'm going to pan around here slowly. And what do we see? I'm going to come in close. Look at the size of that joker right there. It was hiding behind all the weeds and all the leaves of this plant. Can you guys imagine this? We are going to harvest this bad boy. This thing is huge. Look at that. Huge. I know you can't eat that. That is definitely a seed cucumber. Let's harvest this thing. Let me move it so I make sure ain't nothing living behind this thing. Let me move it to the front so we can get a better view of it. Move it with my feet. Lord have mercy. Look at that bad boy. Look at that. Look at that. I got to take a picture first. Hold on. I'm back with you. I had to take a photo for posterity because child, 
these bees, look at this bee over here. He coming around the plant wondering what's happening over here. What you doing over here in my area? Thank you, Mr. Bee, for pollinating this. I'm sorry I didn't see it till now. But we had all that heat, that rain, and this joker just grew. So let's see if we can harvest this bad boy. Let me see if I can break it off the top. I'm going to try. Ugh, this sucker is on here. I'm going to need some kind of a scissors. Let's see if I can twist it. Nope, I'm going to need some scissors. So I have to come back and with some scissors. Hold on. Guys, let's see if I can use this, um, this tool right here. Remember the tool that I gifted, birdie and bird tool? Let's see it, because it's got that serrated edge. And let's see if I can chop it off with that. Let's try. Let me hold it with my foot, and we're going to chop it off. Yes, that worked. Woohoo! Now let's pick this bad boy up. Look at this monstrosity. Huge. We are definitely gonna take this in the house wash it up and we gonna measure this bad boy because this is huge i'll put it over here on my lawnmower look at that bad boy right here i can't believe that i discovered something that huge massive let me move my finger out the way huge you guys i'm still tripping off of this oh i tell you Things you find when you're out here in your garden. Because look at all the, the things I have to pick up. Let me show you. I was weeding over here from over here. And look at this plant right here with these cayenne long peppers. Look at this, this bush. Look at all those cayenne long peppers on here. You see how much that's on there? I got to stake that up because... That's going to be, that's heavy. That's why it's weighing down on the ground. And I have this to pick up. And then I was over here, and you see all these bell peppers? I got over here, right there. I got one down there. I got a red bell pepper right there. My hydrangeas are just, they just showing out. They're getting their um, fall colors. And then, you know, my other hosta has all those beautiful white plumes. Beautiful. And look at these over here. I got weeds and stuff that I pulled from out of my hosta bed. Now, everybody's got these big old bushes in their um, gardens. I don't know what this is, but this, this weed right here is huge and it's indestructible. Then I got to harvest all these peppers. Look at this. So I can make some more red pepper flakes. And then I got some more cayenne peppers. Look at these. I have got to get out here and just pull this bucket out and then just harvest all of these peppers. They're just everywhere. And then look at my vincas. Vincas are showing out. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. Rocky's area had all these weeds in the area so I had to pull all these weeds out and when you pull all the weeds out look what you get vincas thanks Trish she's one of my subscribers that has been hanging with me day after day and she has the most beautiful vincas that I've ever seen if I have an opportunity to get over there I'll take a video of her vincas and she has some beautiful mums too so I'm going to come in over there and I'm going to shout you out, Trish, because you got it going on with your vincas. And then over here, I have all these peppers that I got to do. And peppers over there. Peppers over there. One thing I can say is that I might have not have gotten my bell peppers that I wanted, but I got a lot of my peppers that I can make my red pepper flakes and my um, bell pepper seasoning with. And these onions, I think I might have stumbled upon a solution for my onions. Because these onions 
we're in here at the beginning of the season, springtime, chow, and I didn't do nothing but water, 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 and neglected them, and look at them. These onions look really nice, see? I didn't even take the skate ball, but look how big, and I didn't even give these a haircut, but look how big and bulby they are at the bottom, see? Let me dig around here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. See, look at that. See how they're bulbing? I think my thing is, is just put the onions in there and just neglect them, and then they will do what they got to do. So, the proof is in the pudding, you guys. I neglected these because, you know, the black and white garden is the side of my garden that gets the most of the sun. So, these bad boys just roast and roast, and I can't get over here as often as I want to because of the heat. And then these parsnips, the one that I was going to harvest, I don't know now because it has gotten really, really green. So I think I'm going to just leave it alone because one of my subscribers told me that these parsnips can get very, very big and long. So I'm next time I um, plant my parsnips, um, I think this bed is too shallow for as long as she was saying that they get. So I think next year, I think I'm going to dig out an area and I'm going to plant them in the ground. Like maybe this spot right here. I'll dig this all out. And then I'm thinking about trying to put some onions here. And I'm also going to put some um, parsnips seeds there. And we're going to see what happens. Because this area over here, that little container right there. It just went to weeds. That's where I had my other um, onions and stuff. But they didn't do as well as the onions over there. So I don't know what happened. So I'll try it again. But I think I may move this whole situation right here. Nothing but weeds. And I'm going to use this as a planting bed. And this is an old um, cabbage that I had last season. And this one is starting to come back. It's been eaten up but it's coming back so i'm just going to leave it alone because look at it see the center is good i just need to take off the bad leaves that the bugs were eating but that may be a, a cabbage i'll be eating for fall who knows child it's uh you know when you're a gardener you learn on the fly you just you know you learn from your mistakes and you also learn how to improvise and um, just go with the flow, child. Just go with the flow. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pick up all this stuff. And then I'm going to spray some weed killer around here because, child, I'm tired of these weeds. And I got to get my leaf blower. I don't know if I have time to blow these. That might be on day two because they said this weekend the temperature is supposed to get like back in the... Um, the 90s and child oh, you talking about 90s that's roasting hot for me so that's why all these plants over here got out of control and i had all these weeds because it was too dang on hot so that's how it's faring over here and look at my herb area got a bunch of cayennes over there bunch of weeds i gotta pull out of there because i'm telling you if there's not one garden that i know that doesn't have an area that has a whole bunch of weeds. And I know they do. I just, you know, I show y'all everything from the good, the bad, and the ugly. Oh, and look, I got a squash growing. You want to see it? There's my squash. It's growing. I got one, and then I got another one in there. I'll show you when I get on that side. Because I couldn't... Um, I couldn't go on this side, this side over here, because the bees and stuff were over there. So I was like, I ain't going over there. So that's why I came over here to weed whack over in this section. Because this area always, I'm going to have to spray a lot of weed killer over here. Because I'm tired of weeding this spot all the time. So I'm going to whack it down with my weed whacker. And then I'm going to get my weed solution and I'm just going to saturate this whole area over here. The less weeds I have, the better. Whew. 
All right, guys. Well, I just came to, you know, let you see the, the huge, giant cucumber that <laughs> I discovered. I think that is the funniest thing I'm going to find in my garden this season is this big whopper cucumber. Now, like I said, I'm going to go in there and we're going to measure it. And boy, oh boy, that's a whopper, as my mom used to say. That's a whopper, whopper, whopper. All right, guys, let me finish picking up some of this stuff. And then we're going to call it a day because your girl is tired. This is like going to be like part one because fall season is upon us. And I know you guys are out there cleaning up area. And I got to start pulling some of these things out of my buckets. Some of these buckets will rest in, for the winter. And I'm only going to um, grow in one side of my garden this fall. I'm not going to garden in all these pots and stuff because I'm going to mend them all. And then I'm just going to let them rest. See all those pots over there in the black and white garden? I need to let them rest because when spring come, your girl will be ready to rock and roll. All right, guys, let me finish weed whacking this bush over here. And uh, I can't believe I found that cucumber. I'm still tripping off of that. And those 132s, once these clusters get done, let me show you. See these clusters? Because they look like they're getting ready to be um, done. Because the bees been in there doing what they're supposed to do. Once these turn, the color, I'm going to pull this this um, plant out. Because this is something. I'm sorry, Mr. Bee. All right. Let me move. That bee was like, what you doing over there? You know, when the bees come, I leave. Because I ain't trying to get stung out here. I'm just trying to... Uh, I'm thankful that they're out here pollinating and doing their job. So when they're there, I leave them alone, child. I just leave them alone. Look at that. But isn't that a beautiful sight? Gorgeous. They doing their job for sure. And I'm going to remember that next season, I'm not going to put anything like that big on the corner of my garden. Because when I swing around that corner with my lawnmower... It's hard to get around there because all the vines and all that stuff's in my way. So I'll remember nothing big in that corner. At least on my, on my ends. Whew. I'm telling you. And then I got to get in here and I got to get rid of this. This, I call it a trash tree out of my Japanese maple tree. That got to go. I'm going to have to hire somebody to go into that tree and um, dig that from the base. If Isaiah was here, he'd do it for me. But my grandson is living his best life in high school this year. And he told me to tell you guys that he misses you guys and to say hi to you guys. So from me, speaking for Isaiah, he loves you all and he misses you all. All right, guys, let me continue to finish what I'm doing. And then if I see something else, I'll tell you about it. If not, I'll come back and I'll close out this video. Look at my crepe myrtle tree. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hey guys, I'm out here harvesting my shishito peppers. I've harvested from this plant here, right here, and here, and chow. I got so many shishitos on this one. And this is how much I've harvested already. Let me show you. Do you see all those shishitos? I'm going to be dehydrating them because I want to make my shishito powder. So I'm so, so excited about how many shishitos that I have to go. Because these, because I have one, two, three, four plants of shishitos and they are making me proud. All right, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Let me finish harvesting, then I'll come back and I'll show you how many I was able to get. All right, Shishitos, keep doing what you do. Guys, so I am still out here working, and now I'm on my deck, and I'm going to take these tomatoes out and chow. Why? Let me see. Let me show you. Mr. Hornworm has a comeback. So he has decimated this one. So let me show you this one. You see him? Let me see if I can... Let 
you see old Mr. Hornworm? He is about to go to the upper room. All right, so I'm going to get him, and I'm going to pull all these out because this is my black cherry, and they have served me so well this season. So I am so, so thankful for all that the cherries that they've given me. So I am going to take these out and start getting this area cleaned up for my um, fall garden. All right, Mr. Hornworm, going to say a blessing on you, and then off you go. All right, you guys, this is my harvest of the day. I was able to get some okra, and I was able to get some, some of my last of my black cherry tomatoes, a whole bunch of shishitos, and one tomato which I don't know what tomato that is because it fell off the, the tomato vine when I was over there cleaning up the area. So this is what I got. Plus, we got our giant cucumber. So I still have to go in and uh, measure it for you guys. Okay, so stay to the end of the video, and that's what I'll be doing. I'll be measuring this huge cucumber. Now I just have to water and then I am done. But this is what I removed. I removed all those tomatoes that had that hornworm on it. And then I took these out, the Dr. Ritchie tomatoes, because they did as much as they were going to do for me. And now I just have the Jubilee. And then I have, um, which tomatoes are these? These are the black creme over here. And, um... That's it. All these are black creme. And this one on the end is another black cherry. So, woohoo! My tomatoes have done, after out of 1 to 100, I say my tomatoes gave me like 75% of some good tomatoes. So, because I was dealing with the hornworm this season. So, I'll know, because Lisa says she used that Gen Genevieve um, basil. Geneva, honey, I'm going to have all that in my tomato beds. I don't know if I'll stick them here next um, time, but wherever they go, that basil will follow them hand in hand. All right, guys, let me water, and then I will come back and we'll measure that cucumber. Guys, are you ready to see how long this bad boy is? So let's check it out. I can't believe that this cucumber got this huge all right, so I started it at the one inch. So we're going to take it all the way to the bottom. And it's about 13 and a half. 13 and a half long. And look at my hand around it. I can't even, can't even see my fingers, my thumb to my other fingers because this bad boy is so fat. Look at that. This joker is thick, wide, and long. So I know I will be eating this bad boy. I'm going to just cut this thing open, and I am going to harvest the seeds. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and my adventures in the garden today. Getting some few of some things done that I needed to take care of because it was a beautiful, beautiful day. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as well. So as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give your girl a thumbs out, thumbs up, share me out, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I upload a new video and you guys can see what's happening over here in Renee's Garden Adventure. All right, guys, take care. Look at this bad boy up close. It is so so big. So big, you guys. So, so big. See you later.